Hello, hello, my Star Atlas family. It's me, the Metaverse Explorer. I'm back with another video for Star Atlas. And guys, the claim stake function is now on mainnet. So what does that mean? You can take your claim stakes if you do have some, okay? And you can go and stake it on score. Now remember, the main function of claim stake is actually supposed to be used in Sage, but because they brought some of the sales forward, um, they said, okay, you can go ahead and use it in score now. So instead of earning Atlas from your claim stakes, you're going to be earning R4s. Let's take a look at the announcement, my friends, and then let's read the um, article and then let's actually give you a small tutorial. So this is what we're going to look at and list your claim stakes with faction uh, uh, faction fleets right now. This article was released just yesterday. The Solana blockchain gaming fa application faction claims enables players to enlist their claim stake NFTs in the Galactic Strife and earn rewards for their service. Now, remember, you'll be earning R4s, OK, not Atlas. OK, so. First off, the claim stakes are the foundation of planetary gameplay loops in Star Atlas. They are physical objects that claim planetary plots, grants the owner access to extracting available resources, and build in planet infrastructure. Awesome. So you're going to be getting food, fuel, ammunition, and toolkits. Amazing. How do you do it? This is how you do it. But first, let's go and show you myself because I want to go through it just the same as you guys. You guys know I love to do it. Love to do it. So this is my account. I have one tier one claim stake i have an only css base i just put a stink bid and someone filled it and i'm happy with that so i'm gonna have a leave it there um so let's have a look at this claim stake my friend so um remember that i remember this from ages ago when we got this from the rebirth campaign that was like a long time ago nearly two years ago and now we can finally do something with it so yeah i mean the team are busy working with a whole bunch of other stuff um so it's only now that they said you know that they're ready to actually give you utility for this claim stake so I've got this page up uh, as well as the um, explorer.staratlas, which is from the club. We're going to have a look at the market dynamics, see what's happening to the claim stakes right now. But first off, a claim stake tier one actually is about, I think, $30, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so the Star Atlas team is selling them at $32. <coughs> Excuse me there. And there's still quite a lot on the marketplace, right? So you can already extrapolate if there's going to be 12,699 and there's only, and there's 8,300 left, then there must be like, I don't know what, 4,000, 5,000 uh, in circulation, give or take. Um, and I don't know if there's been any market volume for that, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and stake it, my friend. So all the way on the left, where you usually go to your faction fleet, you don't have to go to faction fleet anymore. You would go to the faction claims. It's got a nice flag on next to it. Okay. You get two tabs similar to the faction fleet section. I don't have any stake at the moment, but I do have an available claim, which is a tier one available claim. Okay. So tier one, it's a stake. I have one of them and I can only select one to claim. So I'm going to click stake one claim. It's going to go ahead and generate a blockchain transaction for you because this is the first time you are interacting with a new account because you have to create a new account um, interacting your NFT or your SFT to the blockchain on this new program. You have to have a new account where that is going to be housed. OK, um, and that new account costs 0 0.00428 Solana. OK, and of course you send, you lose your one stake because it goes to this program. Now we're going to go ahead and approve that. Staking my claim. Awesome. My claim is now staked. Um, let's go ahead and see how uh, let's go ahead and manage it first and see what it actually looks like. Guys, this is my first time doing doing it myself. So I'm same same way as you. Production capacity is zero. Ooh. Okay, so I guess it's actually counting up rather than counting down. So it's not using fuel or resources. It's giving you something. So you always have something counting up. Okay, so production capacity is zero. Why is production capacity zero? I don't understand that. Um, so uh, food, I think it stores up to 622 food. It gives you 0 0.21 per minute. Okay, um, fuel is uh, 900 uh, fuel. Ammo is 608. Uh, tools is 902 and they all have different rates of emissions. So I wonder why is it still a zero? Hmm. Does it supposed to say zero? Maybe if I come back in one minute, we'll come back in one minute and see if anything has been accrued to this because it shouldn't be zero because it doesn't say there's anything else we have to do. Let's see if it gives us anything. 
Oh, no, still zero. Hmm. We'll come back very soon. In the meantime, let's go to the Explorer website and see what we can see from the uh, claim stakes. So we can see here there is some volume. There is some... Oh, there was total supply. I got it wrong. Sorry. I forgot the rebirth post the campaigns as well because people probably bought it when they offered it the second time. Um, so there's 23,000 of tier 1s. Tier 2s, there's like 4,000. Tier 3s, there's 1.5k. And tier 4s, there's only five, 400 of them. Nearly, nearly 500. And tier 5s. Remember, these give you... Not, this is not their main use, right? It's not just supposed to be used in scores. It's supposed to be actually used in Sage. And that's what's going to allow you to mine resources um, at one at a better rate and also give you the better resources because five is supposed to be i think legendary or epic resources okay it goes from common uncommon rare epic and i think legendary if, if i have that right right there's a there's a gradient to it and of course everything like this is going to change but let's look at the tier two that seems like the more that let's look at tier one first let's see what the what the um capacity is like what the volume yeah so we do have some volume here on the galactic marketplace there's 2.5k volume um that's for the usdc pair and then there's the atlas pair which only has 241 volume um and the price is a lot higher on the usdc on the uh, usdc on the atlas pair i don't know why you know, and you can see all of these people, all of these people are today deciding to trade all of their um, resources. All to trade all their resources. Now, I actually wonder, what's the ROI for this? I forget. I uh, haven't actually done the math because if I remember correctly, it was supposed to be a tier two gives you enough to supply one small ship. I think I, I think that's right. Either a T two or a three T three. I think it should be a tier two, and then a tier one. Mm, maybe it's a tier three. Gives you a small ship resources. A tier um, uh, tier two for small. Tier one for extra small, and T zero for extra extra small. But we don't have a T zero. As you can see, I'm very confused. Okay, I should have researched this before I did this video, but stuff it. Um, yeah, let's look at a tier two because I do have a tier two myself. Let's have a look at the marketplace info. Ah, you can see, oh, look at this. It's right behind me, you can't see. But um, even my order got filled. I had a really low ball offer and someone managed to sell into me ages ago when it actually got released. But now people have been buying it. People bought 120, 122, 120, 134, 145, 150, 183, 200, all the way up to $200 people have started buying this. Okay, let's go back to the marketplace over here and actually look at a tier two. This is a structure. This is a stake and then a tier two claim stake. And you can see the the spread of them is actually very, very low now. So Star Atlas offers this at 241 and someone wants to sell it at 212. I remember buying this for 110 or something like that. And I've been able to sell it. And even right now I can sell it for a, a, a modest profit if I end up going here. But you see these guys, these are all bots. I don't like these guys. They don't have any images. So that makes me think that they're bots. And I generally think we do have some market makers, market making bots on the on the system so far. Yeah, so I wanna go back here. It's definitely been a minute. Yes, it is working, my friends. Look, I have one fuel. I have, oh, you can see it tick over. This should be ticking very soon. You should see this ticking. Ah, oh, there it is. It ticked into a one. It ticked into a one. Awesome. So I have a claim stake that now has one out of 622 food, one out of nine, 925 food. But so why is it still zero? Why is it zero? I don't understand, guys. Is that a bug? I know there have been some bugs reported. Okay. Why? So I'm going to claim the rewards and let's see what happens if that um, can actually work. Yeah, I get one food, one tool, one unknown and one unknown. So obviously that's the fuel and that's the uh, ammo. So the unknown by um, Phantom, maybe the team can hopefully put that in because the team can co communicate with Phantom to recognize that token or unless I have to do that token myself. But it, it, we, we have this. We've been interacting with food, uh, food, food and fuel this whole time. So it shouldn't be an issue, right? Okay, so now that that's worked, okay, I know that it is accumulating something. So then it doesn't make sense that it has a production of zero, production capacity. So I wonder if it's actually, if all of this gets to 622 out of 622, and that's uh, eight, uh, six, uh, 608 out of 608, then that's 
a hundred percent capacity okay so you should always come back and take off all of the food all of the resources you have before it hits 100 percent. okay now you know what that means that means a bot a, a, like the explorer bot can't do this for you that means jeeves can't do this for you because that is actually a um a limit okay because the way that the a jeeves explorer bot works is that is that it can supply your ships for you without having to claim anything so it doesn't have to actually um sign a transaction on behalf of anything okay on behalf of yourself okay but for this one you will have to claim press a transaction yourself to claim resources so that it stops it from going 100 percent i'm sure that like you can give your private keys to another bot to do that but no one's going to do that with jeeves the reason why people love using jeeves is that um it, it doesn't have to sign a transaction for you it'll just refuel for you but this yeah the team did it a little bit differently and it makes sense it makes sense um at, at least that's the way i see it right i'm sure so, you can still give your private keys to a bot and they'll be able to claim the resources on your behalf every time every time it hits 99 percent um but then of course you're giving your keys to a bot and then that's a gi giant risk factor so probably no probably no but i just love to see this so I don't know what else is there like it's not nothing nothing much nothing crazy <clears throat> let's see what the price of the claim stake tier four and fives are doing let's see if anyone's actually had any volume there come on bros what do you mean there's no records to display you liar all right so let's look at claim stake uh three let's see what the volume is like there Oh uh, yeah, so not much volume, but still pretty good. So the last couple of trades, there have been a few. 455, 525, someone sold it for 338. My God, 338, you could buy that. You could, that person who sold at 338, they really wanted to get out because if they just waited a little bit, they could sell that structure right now, that stake for, let's have a look. For 340 or like at the current uh, uh selling price of nearly 700 dollars. so my god he really wanted to get out really wanted to and you can see there's other people that are buying it for 500 dollars. yeah and the claim stake four let's have a look at the four uh, in the five there's barely people that hold the five only like the super um oh look there's even no info for five there's nothing happening there's no no volume at all and then let's look at four Oh, come on. I hate waiting. I hate waiting. I hate waiting. Oh, I haven't seen Pepe in a while. Have you guys seen Pepe? Okay, so as you can see, there's still stuff there. You can go ahead and claim it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wait and see. Now, my next question is, my next question is, does it stack? Does it stack? So if I only have one claim stake here right now, right? I wonder, does the capacity stack or as soon as it hits 100%, it just stops producing food and fuel for you, which is not optimal. Okay, I hate that. Just clicking, uh, you have to come back all the time and click. That's a waste of time. Um, yeah, but keep in mind, this is only just temporary, right? This is not the main purpose of stakes. This is just like a little bonus that you get, that we get just for extra fuel, food and fuel. And my next question is, is this going to affect the food and fuel market? No, it's not going to assess the resource market at all so far because the amount of resources required for everyone's faction fleets is significant. What we get from this is very, very tiny. Trust me, very, very tiny compared to what's actually needed. So I don't anticipate people will be selling their resources at a much lower discount than the Star Atlas team um, and, they won't be, and the Dow won't be getting any Atlas. No, I don't think that's going to happen at all. Okay. Yeah, I got some extra ships being staked here. Um, yeah, look, I got two fuel. Oh, let's claim again. <clears throat> and it still gives me two unknown. I don't like that. All right, so claim stake four. What happened here? Oh, not, not much volume from claim stake four. There's only four of them that have been uh, exchanged hands in the USDC market. Um, so one for 900. Uh, someone sold it onto the market. 
okay and the next one's 1.2k and the next one's 1.5k so that's pretty good people are still buying this stuff you know people are still interested in star atlas yeah so i think that was a bug issue but i don't know if it's that's what i'm experiencing here i think let's have a look and see someone was discussing it in the afia discord Yeah, some, something about the, the, the amount of different uh, numbers in here. Something about that being doubled. Like if you have two. I think they might have patched it by now. It's not urgent. And like it's not massive amounts of money. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. They will patch it. Um, yeah. Um, and with this, remember, don't get enticed by the NFT if they do say anything. It, it, it doesn't matter why they have this time staked. doesn't matter staked one epic tier, spec is tier one which is fine all right um i don't know what else to talk about but yeah uh, uh remember i gave away nine ships in the last video i didn't realize it but i i gave out like nine ships if i'm not wrong um so i've got to get everyone's name down okay to whoever got my girlfriend's name right they're called she's called nicole um and yeah you get a ship so that's it for now gonna leave it there very quick introduction to the faction claim stake so if you do have a claim stake if you get it from the rebirth campaign go ahead and claim it get some r4s if you don't want to keep your r4s sell it onto the market just list it like one uh, 0 0.001 atlas below the market rate of the um, atlas from the team and someone will buy it no problems that's if you don't have any ships that actually requires that because it's always better to just accumulate these resources yourself and use it for your ships rather than selling it on the market because you lose five percent because of the marketplace fee so it makes no sense to sell it. You might as well just use it for your ships. Um, and that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much. Ciao for now. Hey guys, I'm, I, I'm actually, uh, uh, I wasn't happy with the content I just made. So I just wanted to add a little bit extra on top of it. And I'm going to cut and chop it all the time. But in a rare occasion, I'm doing this without my green screen because I CBF putting back up. So you get to see my lounge room. You get to see my lounge room as well as my, um, as well as my uh, Metapus Explorer icon sign. You can see. Just behind me there but i wanted to quickly highlight this about the claim stakes itself so um what i really really actually dislike about it is that you have to come back and always uh take off the supply that's been accumulating and this is thanks to the uh, not the club actually this is by the hologram news network it's just a small infographic to help people understand so if you have a tier one or a tier two you do get all of these per day right so 299 food per day etc 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 um so the capacity is what bothers me for a tier one, you have to come back every two days because in two days it fills up and it stops producing. OK, that's a mechanism to make sure there's not so much oversupply because people are going to forget and always uh, forget to come back and empty it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and so when you have two days for tier one, it's just like a damn thimble air bike. You have to come back every single day to be able to uh, uh, take off the uh, um, to be able to re um uh, resupply it and refuel it and all of that which we have Jeeves for but ugh, I hate it when it's like two days you have to keep coming back and then you look at a tier two and a tier three there's not much difference it's going to take four nearly four and a half days slightly less than four and a half days or slightly more than four days uh, for it to reach full capacity which means you have to come back to your computer to your assets all the time every four days to try and unlock all of that resources that you've just earned a tier four gives you 5.75 days and a tier five is like nearly seven days so i just wanted to add this extra little bit on top of it um just to help uh, you guys uh kind of visualize it a little bit more